Hello and welcome to another episode of Food Tech 101. 101. Uh, today we're going to make a, well, what exactly is a flapjack? Is it a cake? Is it a biscuit? Is it a cereal bar? Whatever you want to call it, it's really easy to make. And it uses something called, a cake making method called the melting method. Right, let's get into it. Let's make some flapjacks. Before we get started, just do me a quick favour. Click that subscribe button and hit that little bell icon. So you'll be the first to know whenever I upload a new video. Okay, let's get to it. For this recipe, you will need two to three tablespoons of golden syrup, depending on how gooey you want it, 250 grams of oats, 125 grams of sugar, and 125 grams of butter. That can be plant-based or dairy-based. Okay, let's get started. So to make our flapjacks, we have to melt our fat with our syrup and our sugar. Now it's not a very complicated process, but what's important with this is that you do not let the mixture start to bubble. You are only looking to melt. This will take about two or three minutes. Once your mixture is melted, turn off the heat and then immediately put in your oats. Now like with most of these recipes, this is the basic. But of course, you can add whatever thing you want to this basic recipe. So, you want to add some dried strawberries. Dried, fruits works, dried fruit works better in a mixture like this. Dried strawberries, dried raspberries, banana, any variation of dried ingredients you want to add to this will work really well to give it a different flavour. And fruit flavours work really well for flapjacks. So there we go, I've mixed my ingredients together. So next I'm just going to transfer it to the tin where I'm going to bake it. And here is our tin ready to put the mixture in. So do not allow the mixture to cool, just pour it in. And once in, just spread and pat the mixture down. Now I don't like to pat mine down too hard because I like a, a fairly light mixture once it's set. But at the same time, you want to make sure it does hold together as one bar. So I'm going to press down a little bit. All we're going to do now is bake it in the oven for about 20 minutes until it's nice and golden brown on the outside. All right, let's do it. All right, here we are, fresh out of the oven. I've allowed them to cool for as long as I can stand because they are tempting me to prepare. As they cool, they set. If you start to take them up before they set, they'll just crumble apart. But this one, oh my days. Look at that. All right, let's see what this bad boy tastes like. All right, as always, the proof of the pudding is in the eating. Let's, let's smell it first of all. Let's use our senses. Organoleptic is where we assess food using our senses. So, look, looks wise, it's nice and golden brown, exactly how a typical flatback should look. It smells amazing, but let's see what it tastes like. Oh, it's legit. Really, really nice. It's chewy. Crunchy's got a nice bit of bite to it. Mmm. Depending on what kind of oats you use, you can have a, a creamy texture, uh, texture, but it's nice and chewy the way I like it. Really, really good. Now, of course, it's only a basic recipe. You can modify a recipe like that any way you like. You can make it healthier, add nuts in it, add raisins, or you can make it a bit more decadent with chocolate and all the rest of it. So there we have it, a really simple dish. Flapjacks, try it yourself at home. Um, that's it. As always, my name is Mr. Lionbird, but you can call me Sir. Things we know.